Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Bad as policing in Scotland undoubtedly is, and how much worse it's going to be uh, remains to be seen. But there is a certain policy being enacted at the moment, which is likely to result in an absolute implosion, I suppose, of policing. Uh, this relates back to pensions, and particularly pensions for senior officers. Um, anyone above the rank of inspector is tends to be a member of the Association of Scottish Police Superintendents. This is the senior ranks um, sort of guild, if you will, within the police. Um, they have a problem with pensions because new pension rules brought in both by HMRC and the Scottish Government and the police force. It's sort of been uh, agreed between all three of them mean that they uh, have a limit on how much pensions will be paid by the force and the government, etc. Now, the officers themselves have an option to voluntarily pay extra in from their salaries, which they do. However, because these are outside of normal pension rules, any uplift that this extra money brings within the pension is taxable under rules that are about to be brought in. For people who retire now, that won't apply. For people who retire after it comes in, it will apply. Do you see where I'm going with this? What this is leading is, according to a poll by the Association of Senior Police Officers, is that about, currently, a third of all senior officers are considering retirement. A third of them. Now, apart from the actual shortfall that this will leave in pure numbers of an already understaffed force, you're also going to lose many, many years of knowledge, of experience, of skill, of teachable, you know, teachable skills that just sits there, no longer available. And for what? For a little bit of tax, because an exceedingly greedy HMRC and Scottish Government have had a little collusion because they think that people who've worked in their job for a long time don't deserve the pension that they are paying into out of their own money. Because it isn't, let's make no bones about it, this isn't, we're not talking about a lot of money uh, per person, but it's the principle of the thing. It, it just seems petty, so petty to raise such a small paltry amount in the big scheme of things. This is from a government that's just had to give back 450 million to the EU because it doesn't know how to spend money properly. It just beggars belief. But at least a third of all senior officers are actively considering going. This government, this Scottish government, has got no idea what it's doing. And with every decision it makes, it without fail makes the wrong decision. And boy is this a wrong one. But what can you do? The full story is available in the Press and Journal, but it is, it is there to be seen. But it goes to show that when it comes to looking at numbers, understanding outcomes, seeing, I mean, basically looking to see what will, what would likely happen if I do this? What will likely happen if I do that? Consequence, play the game of consequences, you know, and see what will happen. And this is what happens. And people still vote for them. It's astonishing, isn't it? Now, this, these, these politicians, they sit there and they boast, oh, look, we've put the most money ever into, into uh, policing. Yes, but when you were looking at 10% um, inflation as it was last year, putting the most money in still doesn't cover inflation. So still technically counts as a cut in funding. You've got 2,000 fewer policemen than is recommended, minimum 2,000 fewer. You've got like two or three police cars on patrol in Scotland at any one time. You've got uh, all these senior ranks scared because they dare police how they want in case how they, seem to, how they actually police is seen to be ist or phobe or whatever. You've got the chief police officer of Scotland, the, the, the chief constable, who within a week of taking the job was on the grift 
uh, and was stealing police resources for her own personal use. She's now owned by the SNP, just as they owned her predecessor. They are deeply controlled. Even if they do manage to bring the likes of Sturgeon to, you know, uh, you know, under investigation and that, then the the whole again subsidiarily owned uh, justice system will say, oh no, there's no case to answer. There is no justice in Scotland. You don't really need a police force, do you? And in fact, that could be a much cheaper way of doing it. Just abandon the police. Just abandon the police and let the people of Scotland police themselves. A bit of citizen justice. That would put an end to things, wouldn't it? When you're stringing up people, when you're having people kneecapped because there's no police available, and so people have to police their own communities, because it seems to be the, the way that the SNP want to go. If that wasn't their direction of travel, they'd be putting money in. They'd be saying, OK, let's hire those 2,000 policemen. Let's make sure the courts don't let the auras of children walk free. Let's make sure that people who break the law are brought to justice and we bring them to justice so that justice is not only done, but justice is seen to be done. And that we don't hide the truth and we don't cover things up. But to actively make decisions, to go out and destroy the very morale of those people who you ultimately and desperately rely on to maintain law and order seems perverse. And it, it's got to be deliberate. They must surely know. Somebody at some point will have told them. And yet, having been informed, they've decided to go ahead and do it anyway. What? <laughs> I'm literally at a loss. What goes through their tiny little minds? that they think these things are going to be beneficial to people in any way. And yet, you know, you look at the night, let's say £9,000, which is the maximum that these policemen can put in. And then that earns, let's say generously, 10%. That's £900. And then they get taxed at, say, 20% of that. You know, it's, it's £180. So they're going to lose a third of their senior officers for £180 a year in tax. It's, it's genius, isn't it? It's genius level. It's no wonder the SNP are failing the people of Scotland. And it's, this is why, amongst many, many, many other reasons, they need to go. And with this election coming, think, if you're an SNP supporter, do you want a policeless state? because that's what they're doing to you. Vote otherwise, vote one election only, vote elsewhere. Put the fear of God in them. Make them start doing their job and save your future. Thanks a lot, bye.